Hello friends, Intuitive Renee here, bringing you your daily reading for Monday the 9th of August 2021. Um, normally on a Sunday I do Oracle Sunday, and yesterday I did a quite a detailed tarot reading on Lionsgate portal. And today here in South Africa it is a public holiday. It is a, a holiday where everybody gets to celebrate and enjoy Women's Day. So it is South African Women's Day today, and for that reason I have chosen to do an Oracle reading to celebrate and to acknowledge all the wonderful female energies, feminine energies that we have in the world. So I am working with three decks today and you can see I've chosen a card from each one. This is from Soul Cards 2. This one here is Colette Baron Reed's Goddess Power Oracle and this is Megan Waterson or Waterson's Divine Feminine Oracle. So it's going to be very interesting to see the message that comes through from these three very different Oracle decks. Um, and and hopefully we will be celebrating and acknowledging all, all women in the world. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world if you are watching this video today. Just know that we are celebrating and acknowledging all feminine energies. We're going to start off with soul cards. Now soul cards are quite an interesting um, deck, quite an interesting system. They are uh, intuitive drawings that have been placed onto these onto these cards, or these cards have been made from a series of intuitive drawings. There's no keywords, there's no key phrases, there's not even a guidebook that gives you interpretations. It's really just about looking at the image and allowing your intuition to read and be guided by the imagery. So I have not looked at these cards. I do not know which cards I have <laughs> laid out. So um, let's turn it over, see what it is and see what message comes through. And then we will look at the goddess energy and the divine feminine energy as well and see the, the overall message that comes through. So soul cards too. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. So immediately, <laughs> immediately I get so much from. The first thing I, I do notice is the golden yellow color. Of course, the beautiful purple. And this beautiful purple to me, it almost looks like it's either a portal and Lionsgate portal yesterday, or it could even be a leaf with all these veins. And here comes this person. Um, I'm actually not seeing a gender, to be completely honest. This person, I don't know if it's a masculine or a feminine. When I look at it at first, I thought it was a feminine energy. But now when I look at it, I feel like it's masculine. But what I am going to say to you, my interpretation of it is that it's actually both. It's both masculine and it's both feminine. And then we've got what looks like either leaves or feathers coming off the side and even there. The hand that's coming through there is quite a powerful hand, a hand of healing and a hand of compassion and a hand of understanding. And I must be honest and say to you, the way that I look at it, we have another hand over there. So it's almost like it's giving energy to a situation, giving energy to each one of us who are reading, who are watching and who are receiving this message right now. The way that I'm, what I'm hearing from Spirit, the way that I'm interpreting this as well, is that we are all walking through this doorway, this portal. We are all taking a step towards something, taking a step away from and a step towards something. So it's about acknowledging what's behind us and acknowledging what's in front of us. The fact that we have all these, I am going to call them feathers. I'm seeing there's one over there, one, two, and three of them there. And even when I look at this, it could be leaves, it could be feather, but what do leaves do? Leaves create oxygen. If we if we understand, you know, the the um, the biology of the situation, the science of it, leaves create oxygen, leaves give life to a tree. They, they nourish and, and um, create fruit and all of those kind of things. Feathers are spiritual, isn't it? Sp sp feathers are always seen as a message from spirit and understanding from spirit, a connection to spirit. But it's all about giving life. We are spirit. OK, and we have been given life. We are on Earth now having this human existence, which couldn't happen without female energy, which couldn't happen without feminine. But it's also about recognizing that through the birth process, because now that's where I'm going with this portal, through this birth process, we are leaving one world, leaving one existence, one frame of reality, one something, and we are venturing towards something different. And I do think we have to acknowledge that as we are going through our days, today being the 9th of August, the 8th of August is finished. It's done. It's behind us. We have stepped through that day and into the next. And I do think this is something that us, that we all need to be mindful of, that we all need to be aware of, that every single day is a different. Every single day we are stepping away from and towards all in the same time 
all in the same vein. We cannot stand still. We have to be progressing and moving all the time. I think that's actually quite awesome. I'm loving the colors. I really am loving the yellows and the purples and even the blue. And she definitely, I'm calling her Rashi now, the, 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 this energy definitely has a blue aura around them. The blue aura, blue color has got to do with throat chakra, has got to do with communication, self-expression, but also being understood. And that's what Women's Day is all about. It's about being recognized, being heard, being seen and being understood. If you look at to, into the history of this particular holiday here in South Africa, it was a day, I, I, I'm not even going to try and remember the year, it was a long time ago, <laughs> when a whole lot of women um, marched to um, Parliament or marched to the government to basically say, we are women, we want to be heard. So it makes sense that we have this blue throat chakra energy communication coming through. I love that, actually. I really do. I think that's quite fabulous. Let's have a look at Colette Baron reads Goddess Power Oracle and see which goddess is working with us and what message she has. Oh, wow. Of course, yes. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right, I'm loving this. So we have Maya and her key word is illusion. Okay, so but just look how, how gentle she is. Can you see? First of all, I, I do see the colors are quite muted. The colors are quite gentle. But if you look at the expression on her face, she's there's some power there, okay? But she's also recognizing and standing in her power. She recognizes that she gives the illusion of being soft and gentle and all of those things. But the truth be told, she is more powerful than she realizes or that we realize. And she's quite comfortable with her power. She doesn't feel threatened by at all. Um, and she's incredibly comfortable with who she is and with what she has to do. I definitely see her as putting up the illusion, okay, when necessary, but also taking the illusion away. I haven't read the guidebook, so I'm not too familiar with the actual message of the card. Um, you know me, I'm terrible, I never read the guidebooks. But to me, when I see illusion, she has the ability to either put on an illusion to create what everybody else is wanting or needing or she has the ability to remove the illusion to take it away so that we can face the facts and face the truth and when i compare the messages or the the interpretation of these two cards together i do think she's saying to us we have to face the reality that we are progressing that we are moving through this portal through this doorway through this this opening that we are moving beyond our current frame of reference or our current reality and that we are all about the evolution and the forward movement and i think we have to be honest with ourselves and we're not allowed to be to keep ourselves in in bad illusions we have to be honest and upfront with ourselves with regards to where we're at what's truly important and i mean that truly important and not just on the outside but on the inside too okay now we're going to have a look at the divine feminine oracle um and let's see what message we get there as well all right so parvati the goddess of devotion i love that goddess of devotion and isn't she just gorgeous isn't she just absolutely exquisite the message at the bottom here it says i am a love that doesn't leave when i commit to love my soul evolves like you know <laughs> i cannot make this stuff up everybody so we were talking here about ev evolution about stepping through about leaving the past behind and about being your true authentic self we were talking here about removing illusions or putting them up as needed and the message that we've got here from pavati the goddess of devotion i am a love that doesn't leave okay when i commit to love my soul evolves so it when we put the illusion up or when we take the illusion down it doesn't change who we are we are strong capable beautiful souls we we have a strength we have we have oh gosh an energy that we cannot even put into words but when you commit to love above all else your soul evolves our souls evolve and i think this is why we got this particular card from soul cards the soul cards deck is basically talking about having the the courage having the the integrity having the 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 excitement and the opportunity to step through to allow your soul to move on to the next phase the next stage and recognizing that you are beautiful you are strong you are capable and you are absolutely amazing i love that message friends so to all the women out there happy women's day and to all the men watching 
happy Women's Day to you too. <laughs> Friends with love and blessings from my heart to yours. Until we connect again. Take care.